This will be some quick help on your uh, spectrophotometer kinetics homework, not necessarily the spectrophotometer side of it. So, uh, really all you needed was that uh, this last couple slides that I had in my my lecture. Um, basically, you were calculating this alpha and then the rate constant. Um, K, right there. K for your homework. So I'm going to open up the Projects Lab web page. It's just our department site slash Projects Lab. You can get to it from the department site in the undergraduate section. And I'm going to go to the Student Hub for 1705, and it will be Yuma because that is the first name there. Um, just sign in to complete online homework or simula simulations. Put in the class password. It's going to ask for my department credentials, the ones that I use in the ICC computers. So I'm going to go to the online homework, click on the kinetic simulation. Now, we are not using the spectrophotometer in this homework, did in the last one. In this one, we're just using the kinetic side, so I'm just going to plot the concentration of A over time. So if I run this right now, you'll see the concentration of A continually diminishes until it levels off. Now I know alpha is, I know everything in this case, everything that deals with these equations. I know alpha is 1, beta is 1, I have excess beta, so it's as though, or excess B, so it's as though B doesn't change over time, or it does, but such a small percentage of it changes that it, it's inconsequential. Um, so if I were to plot this, I could do it in uh, just you know, plot the concentration, or plot log of the concentration, or plot 1 over, or plot 1 over the concentration squared. The only one that's linear is the log of the concentration, and that is because it's first order with respect to uh, alpha. So, <clears throat> this is the equation that governs it. So if I plot log of the concentration, it doesn't matter if it's divided, but this is just the initial concentration of A, then it should equal um, negative k naught times time, where k naught is the pseudo first order rate constant, which is equal to the true rate constant, which we want, times the initial concentration of b raised to the beta power, which in this case is 1. So in order to find the true k in this case, we'd find the slope, divide it by 0.1, because beta is 1, so we don't you know, just doesn't change that at all. So, it would just be that slope times 10. Um, I will just uh, show you what it looks like. So, if, maybe if I went, so if alpha was 2, um, I'm going to need to increase the rate. But if alpha is 2 and I run this reaction and I plot the log, it's no longer going to be a linear plot, right? However, if I plot 1 over concentration, it is. That is because, if I go back to here, this equation is what governs the pseudo-second order reaction with beta, with B in, in excess. So if I plot 1 over the concentration versus time, I get a line where this is the slope. If I have a third order reaction, I plot 1 over the concentration Q, or squared, and I will get a linear equation where this is the slope. So, that should get you far enough to do the alpha part. Now, so let's say I wanted to determine um, an unknown reaction coefficient. So, I'm going to select that, run the reaction, and I'm not going to see any change. That's because the concentration of A is on the same order as the concentration of B. If I up the reaction, or up the uh, concentration of B until I see a reaction. There we go. So I'm plotting 1 over the concentration of A, which is clearly not linear. We know that the, it's a first order reaction, so if I plot the log it should be linear, and indeed it is. The slope of that line is going to equal the rate constant times uh, concentration of B raised to the first power. So if I take that slope, divide it by 0.05, I will get the right answer. What what would happen if B was 2? Let's 
fine. Okay, here beta is, is 3. So I'm going to run this reaction again. It looks like I need a little bit more concentration to be in there. Well, anyway. You can see it's first order with respect to A, so it's linear again, but in this case, I would take this slope, but I would need to divide it by, to get the true rate constant, I'd need to divide it by 0.14 raised to the third power. And that should give me my true K. So hopefully that helps. If there's any questions, please find me.